All right. Hey, Dr. Anna, how are you? How are you? How are you, Jeremy? Good. I know we, uh, we have a big time zone difference, so uh, I'm glad we were able to make this work. How's everything in Israel? How's everything going with the uh, corona? Are you guys still on lockdown? Because they didn't. Yeah, they no, we're not on lockdown. We're talking about the third one. We're talking about the third one. It's, uh, it's tricky. It's tricky. Lots of, you know, politics and stuff. So yeah, we're trying to focus on our stuff. I hear you. It's the same here in California. They just issued a second, like they're shutting down. They're only doing um, essential businesses uh, mm -hmm. in California. Of course, we're in the U.S., so essential businesses include liquor stores. They include marijuana it's shops. It's always, <laughs> always funny. Yeah, it's always funny what they open. Like they open uh, where you can buy any electricity stuff. You know, like, uh, <laughs> uh, but you can't buy clothes. So if kid needs to go to school. You literally have nothing to wear. So it's not essential, but this one is essential. Like the, the shoes for kids, they, right. they go every couple of weeks because they, they kill them, but you can't buy them. So it's, right. uh, <laughs> yeah. And you have essential ones, which is a liquor. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, we're so excited. Uh, you know, it's been, I didn't expect the, uh, the message of Daisy to get out this quickly. The message has already started to reach the world. I mean, we, we're getting calls from top leaders in, in countries all around uh, the world. And it's gonna be an exciting project. I can tell you that probably the biggest thing that I've heard from leaders so far is their excitement about being able to crowdfund Endotech and to be able to have this opportunity to have equity in such an amazing company to get the rewards of the trading platform. And for them, this is the, the biggest thing. And a lot of people even ask me, is, is Dr. Anna real, right? Is, is, is Indotech real? And I said, yes. Oh my gosh, wait till you guys meet her and, uh, and it is real. So we're excited. We, we know that, uh, you know, of course you and I, along with some of uh, my partners, we've been building a relationship for a while now. And uh, we brought some hedge funds to your platform. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of friends that have invested with Indotech and, and we know that it's real and we know the vision of where it's going. But I would love for the leaders I think a good, perfect first question would be, what, wh why are you excited about the crowdfunding model uh, to, to be uh, a part of this? And, and, and you could have gone out to institutional investors and brought in capital many different ways for your AI project. Uh, but I know that you are excited about uh, yeah. Daisy crowdfund. I would love for them to hear your perspective on that. Yeah. Listen, it it's really suits us, our vision of... Uh, uh, the thing that we do different at Endotech, at Endotech, we're offering professional services to retail clients. And being able to have crowdfunding for retail clients is, is actually complementary to what we're looking for. We're looking to bring out the message to the retail guys to be able to get to their uh, goals of higher return investments. Because I think up to today, there is no vehicle like that for smaller investor to get to professional uh, uh, services. So for us, it's it's a beautiful fit. I love it. That's awesome. Well, that, we feel the same way. It feels like we get to bring something exclusive to the masses, right? And that, that's right. That's right. Because I'm I'm in this field since '99, uh, even before, and uh, uh, everything that I see around is either very centralized for the bigger guys as hedge funds and and. Uh, uh, wealthy individuals that can put hundred thousand and much more, but the small guy is always scammed. Maybe not intentionally, even sometimes, but uh, they get uh, lower level services and they don't get the same uh, uh, same quality. So for yeah. me, it's, it's exciting that we finally we tried it uh, uh, in different setting in smaller markets. We succeeded back then with Strategy Runner to provide a service for smaller guys, but it was too professional too uh, uh, old of a market, too small of a market, and now we're finally getting to the bigger market where we're able to serve them. That's awesome. Yeah, we love it. And the fact that, that we get to actually crowdfund uh, Endotech too and, and, and be a part of expanding what you guys have is really exciting. We're so really so honored to be a part of it. I need to thank, uh, uh, folks don't know who Adam is yet, but Adam is uh, uh, one of the uh, partners at Endotech and, and a good friend, but he actually came up with the name Daisy, didn't he? He, he came up with the branding. That's correct. Of Daisy. That's correct. Yeah. And yeah, the way we brainstormed it about Bra Daisy, that I said, like, I'm a huge fan of sci-fi. You know, I cannot be in the AI and not to be a huge fan of sci-fi. 
And uh, starting age of, I don't know, seven, mm -hmm. my brother started to get me into sci-fi and then I started to read myself. And it was, it always was some computer, some smart computer called with cute name, you know, like, like smart name. And then he said Daisy and it's really clicked because, you know, the Daisy, it does many things. It's like, it's the name of computer, right? It's the name right. of smart entity. From other side, it's so pure. But from the other side, it's very complex because you have thousands of these yellow, yellow pieces that working together and apparently they are decentralized. So they're not connected. So it's, it's like very complicated name from other side. It really suits what we do. Well, and not to mention it's got part. AI right in the middle of the word too, right? <laughs> yeah, and, and all if, yeah, yeah, exactly. And Daisy, it's, it's, it's AI inside of it. So it's from perfect. our point of view, it's like it's perfect name. We really fall in love with this uh, from the day one. Well, I got to thank you too for allowing us to use the same name for the crowdfunding model because we fell in love with it. When we, when we, we you and I first started talking about Daisy as the technology platform, the AI, I mean, I said, this is brilliant, the super intelligence. And when we started looking at the crowdfunding model, we just, we fell in love. It's such a simple, clean name. It represents such a beautiful story and we love it. So thank you for, uh, for letting us uh, also use the same name. And so, you know, I yeah. think it's good to so people have no confusion. You have Daisy Crowdfund as, as an entity, and then you have Endotech's project Daisy, which we are crowdfunding. So thank yeah. you guys for uh, yeah. letting us be a part of that with you. No, no problem. It's like, actually, once you mentioned that the crowdfunding will be done by smart contract, it really clicked for me because I was worried about crowdfunding the way it will be done. Yeah. And uh, smart contract, I'm, again, I'm a huge fan of blockchains because I think it allows people to have transparency needed for the story. So uh, a blockchain allows people to see what's happening inside, that there is no misuse uh, of the funds or misuse yes. of the situation. So the, the, for me, smart contract is the way to protect the clients, to protect uh, smart, smart crowd community from uh, uh, this type of situation. So I'm really excited that blockchain came together in this uh, situation with the crowdfunding and with Daisy. Yeah, we think we agree. It's the perfect solution. You know, it, the centralized world certainly uh, has put a lot of limitations, control. Um, you know, things can be done that aren't always just. And I think what I love about smart contracts and decentralization is it can create a more just environment where the promises are delivered every single time as expected and nobody can change that. So I know that maybe your biggest passion is artificial intelligence and the role right. that AI can, can have in the FinTech space, the financial world. You've been a, a pioneer in that space for decades now, a thought leader. You've developed uh, many AI systems that are now operating with uh, brokerage firms as the, as the AI backbone for many platforms around the world today. And, and, and you've had an enormous, enormous success there. So maybe just share with everyone why you believe AI is, plays such an important role in the FinTech space. Talk a little about maybe what that role is or, or why, why you have such a passion for AI in the, in the trading space and in the FinTech world. Yeah. Uh, listen, it's, it's a bit tricky because it's, uh, uh, AI is not a simple thing to explain and to understand. From one side, you are trying to mimic what our brain does and how we function. In FinTech, it's different. Nobody knows what will happen and how we should function. So it's different type of AI where we're trying just to improve on the modeling, on the uh, algorithms that are built and we're using AI technologies for it. So that's why we, we came to the project of DAISY where we're actually trying to surpass these this issues of AI and go directly to super intelligence where we're saying that proper AI will not function in FinTech. And the reason is that the, the uh, uh, dimension of the information is very low in, in FinTech. Like you have a price, you have volume and you have very limited data backwards. So if you're not talking about high frequency uh, trading you have very small numbers of data. So you cannot really predict anything in technical analysis using pure AI and so on. So instead, we are talking about moving to the next phase. And this is very exciting for me personally, because there are very few people that are thinking about taking AI to the next level. And here we can you know, try it in real time and real field on the field that we're already succeeding in endotech based on previous level of AI. And our goal is 
uh, to take, and here I want to go to a, a very precise definition of uh, what we want to achieve. Because in FinTech right now, whoever is doing modeling, uh, they receive so-called sharp ratio that, that is a metric for result. And the result is usually two, so it, it's uh, considered to be extremely well. But if you look at the physics, right? If they're doing the modeling for the physical, uh, uh, for the nature, for the physical uh, phenomena, they will get to the sharp ratio equal to five. So you see the discrepancy, even if this, the sound of discrepancy between from zero to two and then five. So for us to step to super intelligence is basically saying step above and try to understand how the money moves, how uh, the assets are trading, what are the real logic behind it. And then we will use back what we have in Endotech as a technical capability to capture this information and have trading. That's incredible. So I, I, maybe in layman's terms, I, you know, I think what I'm hearing you say is that the next era of AI is gonna really have a lot more data points. It's gonna have a whole different perspective on all of the moving parts of the financial yeah. markets. Yes, less about decision-making because still the decision-making will be on the technical side, but on the descriptive and explanatory matter where we'll try to find the true causes or to say there is no capability to find the cause because it's a random cause. So at least we will be able first time to specify and to let ourselves know what we can find. So this is, this is the uh -huh. attempt. So really so seeing what I, data points are influencing potentially the markets. And I imagine that that's going to increase the number of data points as well compared to that's what- correct. That's correct. That's correct. It's including, you know, like sentinels on the street, try to figure out using uh, crawlers and Google information about what people think about how they did. So to, to get the, the emotional information and also like, outside bigger information about different assets, different uh, movements of debt and so on to try to figure out the situation. Let, let's uh, let's keep talking. Uh, I would love for you to just maybe brag a little bit about um, the performance that Endotech version one, the, 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 the current generation of AI. Um, and certainly guys, I wanna you know, say that past performance in no way, shape or form uh, guarantees future results. And we wanna always be, be true to that message and understand that, hey, when we talk about past performance, it doesn't guarantee any type of uh, future results. It's not indicative of uh, a future outcome. But you guys have had some pretty impressive results with some of your, uh, your strategies, like the alpha strategy. Uh, I was looking at the leverage strategy that you launched in September. And my gosh, I mean, it's, it's three to 400% in 90 days. I mean, this is this is an yeah, amazing, correct. amazing that's accomplishment. Correct. So maybe brag a little bit in the context, of course, that we're not guaranteeing future results, but, but uh, maybe talk a little bit about the philosophy that your yeah, system- Yeah, I'd love to talk actually, when you were talking, it's like I was comparing myself to the, the athlete that got already the medal, right? I feel that this year I got the medal for modeling because we got these results but I'm so preoccupied of how to take it to the next level that it feels uncomfortable to brag about the, the past. <laughs> I bet you talk about the way we did it. It's, it's more appropriate. Uh, uh, our view of the market, I, I did myself many uh, interviews of the hedge fund managers and uh, 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 guys did the modeling about how they view the market and why they think their systems are successful. And uh, we use the phrase saying that, tell me your story, how you see the market, w what is your story? So our story is fairly simple. We're saying that markets are volatile, young markets are expressing uh, uh, trendy behavior, and we using AI, pattern recognition, and other elements are able dynamically to create the system that knows how to catch the trend. So. Statistically, you have over 6% on average move of Bitcoin a day. So you have very high probability that you will have trends. So what we know to do is whenever you have a trend and if you just looked at the trend for the last three years, you had lots of trends of 60% uh, and up in Ether. Let's take Ether, for example. So in Ether, if you're looking at the trend, you, you, you have look at the beginning of the trend, end of the trend, let's say bullish trend, right? So our goal is to know what is the pattern of entering the trend, how it enters the trend. So we're catching 
using this pattern at the beginning. And our accuracy, and this is very important term for us, is to be very close to the uh, optimal point. So if the trend starts at this point, we are losing 5% of the upper move, right? And then our exit, uh, here we're allowing, allowing much more loss, right? Considering like accuracy from the top point. So here we're allowing up to even 40% of the loss in the, 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 in the move. The and the reason is because the trends are so long that we don't want to miss it because sometimes when you took already 20%, you're saying, wow, it's enough. It's a, especially if it's leveraged, right? Yeah. You say, wow, I took 100%, it's enough. But then you have additional 40% going up and then you can you know, kill yourself for, for not taking them. It's, it's, it's very hard uh, emotionally for any person to do it modeling that you took too close. And this is our strength that we know how to change these long trends and how to protect ourselves from the other periods that don't express this trendy behavior. So our system is uh, based on this pattern recognition, on the ability to catch trends with very high accuracy at the entry and uh, mod uh, moderate accuracy at the exit, right? Yep. And to be very clean on the rest of the performance where we, we have manageable losses. We have manageable losses that, uh, again, here I do want to talk about this because what to expect. So you can expect from our system that whenever uh, uh, trends are going on, we will catch them. Of course, it can be one or two trends that will not follow the pattern behavior and we will be too late or something. Till now, we had excellent year. We, we caught everything in, right in the right point. And then uh, 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 during the very stable periods when market does know where to go, you will see either stable performance or losing performance, right? But what I'm saying is that this is excellent opportunity by the end of this period, this is what we do. We do for our internal money that once we experience these extremely stressful periods where our clients and we lose money, we start to increase our capital because here is the great point for market to go up. Yeah. So that's when we launched our uh, leverage strategies in full speed in November when we experienced this huge run and then our clients took uh, 100, 200 percent in just a few weeks, a few short weeks. So uh, uh, that's that's our current approach. But of course, it's really the approach that suits to current situation of the market. Next year will be different. Maybe other algorithms will be more in use for the fund. So I'm not saying that this specific uh, usage that we did this year will be exact that what we will do next year. Right. And uh, uh, specifically for Forex and other markets, there are completely different approaches to take the market, different time frames, different everything. Uh, and uh, actually I can talk for hours about why we're choosing this resolution and not that resolution, why it's affects another thing, why we're using money management, uh, portfolio management, like all the elements and lots of elements in place to make it success. Because if you're just trying to catch uh, uh, the prediction, you will not be able to manage this amount of money and even your own money because you need system of how to do trading of how to do uh, money management and so on. So for us, it took us a long time to build a system, also to build AI that helps us and to help us manage it. I'm, I'm bubbling. So let's let's go. Oh, to this. Great. No, I, <laughs> I love it no, because I, I, I love what you're saying. I think it's important for everyone to understand that in, in this particular market of digital currency. And again, Forex is, is a different market. And of course, in phase two, uh, we will be expanding into Forex and equities and, and we have a big future there as well. But in the digital currency space, we're not dealing with high frequency trading with, with your AI systems. It's really catching these trends. And this is important because I, I get the question a lot, well, what's the daily ROI? And if that's the wrong question to ask in this type of environment, um, yeah. the, the, because, because there may be months where there's only a few trades because you're entering, you know, once you confirm that, let's say that a trend is going up and it's confirmed, then it enters, right? Yes. And then, and then you can wait out for it, months. Yes. And then it's a very important question because we were pushed by uh, many clients to think about uh, high frequency systems. And what I'm saying is that in specific markets like uh, crypto market, where you have very high commissions, you have very high cost of execution, but you have yeah, very yeah, yeah, low yeah. liquidity, you cannot go to high frequency. So you need to be comfortable with tactical investment. You need to look at this as investment, not as a trading. You're investing, but this investment can help you to reach your results, your goals in, in a year 
time, not a day time, even weeks time. It's more about a year. Which really, which really is perfect for the Daisy crowdfund model because uh, people are not, you know, in our model, people are not opening up trading accounts. What they're doing, of course, is they're crowdfunding this beautiful technology project of Daisy uh, trading system with Endotech. And a portion of that money is being used in live trade accounts to develop and test the system. So it really is an investment uh, into the overall project, right? It's, and, and then the benefit that they get back, of course, is, uh, is these potential rewards as, as it succeeds. But I, I love that. And, 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 and I think let's stay on this path for a second too, because I, you know, part of our models is people will be al allowed to withdraw their rewards at any time. So those, those trading rewards that, that are created along the way, but you showed me some statistics a couple of weeks ago of someone who compounds versus someone who takes profits. And it was staggering to me. I think in one of the models you showed me, it was, I don't know, maybe, maybe between a 200 to 300% uh, profit compared to a 1500% profit. Yeah, I'd love to answer this question because one, one of my favorite topics, the money management, I think it's really not well understood by many people. People consider that money management is either full compounding of the profits, right? And then you, you, you see these crazy curves that you cannot even understand what's going on. It looks like a you know, chopped knife or something. Or it's, it's fixed income when you're taking dividends from the results. They, they don't understand there's a lot of different mathematical formulas in between. And uh, I learned it from an Indian guy that uh, showed me how my own system can go from 50% uh, that I did a year to 289. Then wow. I started to, to, to uh, just by the fact that he was doing money management on my system. So what I did is I, I actually started to learn it and I understood that Larry Williams, his very uh, famous story of making a million out of 10,000 in a year, which he did pub publicly during the contest. This is the main thing that he did. He was very careful about money management in addition, of course, to his good predictions. So that's what we do. Uh, to explain it in very simple terms, just imagine that you have two trends, right? Uh, you experience the trend and you got 50% of return of your, on your uh, uh, deposit. So you're happy and then you get a cold feed and you're saying, okay, maybe it's enough, right? I don't want to risk this money anymore. So you're taking it as a dividend. So the next time you're getting 50%, from your 100%, you will get again 50%. But if you would keep your money, you would get already 75%. 75%. Yeah. And then it starts to increase exponentially. Yeah, no, that, that's such a good point. I mean, we've seen that personally. And, uh, you know, many of the, the uh, institutional investors, et cetera, that we've brought to Endotech and anybody who's experienced uh, uh, any type of uh, a trading environment, uh, losses are part of it, right? This is a part of, uh, you know, a, the best traders in the world and the best AI in the world doesn't mean they have zero losses. It means they minimize those losses when they occur, they maximize the gains, but, but that's a part of it. So I'm glad that we're addressing that transparently because there are some models out there that create false expectations that's and correct. even yes. the, where they're showing gains that aren't real, right? Because they they're trying to yeah. meet this false expectation that every day there's profits. Yeah, we call the system marketing systems because the way it's done and anybody can do this, like if you enter the market and you expect a very short win, right? You probably will be right 99% of the time. So you can show every day small win. So what happens in the head of the, the clients is to say, wow, they try, start to compound and compound and compound and think about the positive extent. What happens is that this 1% that's happening actually cleans out the full story, right? So there is lots of variation of this idea that uh, when you do the investigation of the system, you understand that there is no alpha in the entry or exit. It's just purely random systems that try to create these false uh, uh, benefits for the clients. And then they usually crash after two months, three months, one year, but they clean the accounts to the zero. So they use martingales, they use uh, uh, random entry and exits, and they appear to be very successful so for some period of time. They have huge avalanche of the clients coming to the system because they're saying it's a, it's a new thing. I don't trust the systems that don't lose. The, the true system, specifically trend type of system, supposed to lose more than it wins time-wise. 
it's supposed to have much more losses than the wins, then it's a true system. Yeah. It's incredible. It kind of leads me to another question, uh, a side question, but this has come up a lot with leaders and um, the security when, when the funds go into the trading from the smart contract. Uh, one question that has been asked by many, many leaders is, hey, what are the protection mechanisms that are in place uh, as the funds go from the smart contact contract to, for example, the brokerage account on Binance and the interim custodial process in between? Can you just share and, and just let people know the, the safety uh, measurements that are and there? there? Is that of yeah. course, of course. Listen, uh, first of all, we are starting with level certain level of the security measures that we're implementing as we speak. And uh, it will just be increased with time come. So uh, we're starting with, uh, uh, first of all, working with a team that actively hacking our system and checking if it's, it's, it's not hackable. Second is uh, we have uh, multiple keys for multiple partners to make sure that uh, it's processed correctly. And then of course we have uh, many accounts that we're constantly switching and rotating. So if whatever situation we happens with one of the accounts, Yes, it will be compromised, but not on the level that you have full account. So, for example, we have uh, close to 100 accounts that manage DAISY. So, if one account will go down because of some reason, because of some hack or some uh, crash of the exchange on the server, but we're doing these measures to protect our funds. Excellent. Good, good. Yeah, I appreciate you uh, taking time. So, so, so from your perspective, so because and just so everyone's clear, what we're, we're, we're talking about with the super intelligence is the the new DAISY. Uh, trading system that, that we are yeah. crowdfunding for Endotech. What impact do you think that will have maybe a, a measurable impact? Uh, you guys have done some, some prototyping and some mapping, and, and I, I know you have some ideas of that. How much do you predict that it will increase the current performance of, of the first generation of AI for trading? So the measurable impact that I see and that we can do in DAISY is we got surprised in Endotech how well our system performed in crypto. We're running the system since 2018 and our system takes the origin from 2012 when we started the company. So we got surprised how well this, this uh, uh, systems perform in high risk and high volatility uh, market like crypto. So we, we're delivering like 200% uh, our, our recent strategies with uh, leverage uh, offering 1000% a year, but the, our our weaker, weaker point, right, in all high-risk, high-return, the, the weaker point, it's not even risk, which is measurable, and usually you can control it to some level. The weaker point is probability. Mm. The probability is saying how sure we are that this thing will continue. So from our point of view, DAISY is responsible for two ways to increase this probability. So from my point of view, DAISY should increase from one side our results, at least to double it. From other side, we want to bring diversification into different assets, also high risk high return assets, which are achievable using money management, the leverage and other tools that uh, you know, we, we're already using in uh, using as is, but mainly to increase probability and we will feel much more comfortable to offer these services to retail clients. No, that's incredible. I mean, to, to, you know, to be able to increase performance by 200 to 400% and I love what you're saying about probability. So now it really makes sense to me what you're saying about why Daisy is so powerful, because I guess, you know, let's say, for example, that I'm making a decision to exit a trade or I'm waiting to make that decision. And I have only a certain amount of data of when this move up is going to stop. Then my probability of being wrong is, is, is much higher, right? But That's if I have much more data and eight out of 10 of those data points are telling me the market's about to stop and go the other way, then I have yes. a much higher, you, the AI has a much higher probability. Yeah. I love it. Again, I, the risk wise, the risk wise, usually you cannot increase uh, returns without increasing risk. And this is our tricky point that we need to increase probability in order to, to keep risk at the same level, increase returns and to increase probability of getting these returns. I think it's the, the most important because if you're thinking about probabilities, it's very important to understand the difference in what is the fight about. Our fight is about probability. Once we're there, once we prove it further, we, we uh, will do the change, kind of life-changing uh, story for many people. It's going to be it's going to be fun. We're really really excited. Yeah.
Um, I think one of the, the, the most exciting parts of this crowdfunding project is in fact the opportunity to uh, support the vision of Endotech and uh, be a part of the $500 million in assets under management for the uh, live trading accounts and the $10 million to develop the DAISY AI system and the equity that is available to the members to say, hey, we're a part of this technology project uh, as, as supporters of this vision. Tell us where you see the future of Endotech going, the future of AI, of DAISY. Uh, you know, give us a, a little snapshot into your brain of the big picture of where this whole thing is going over the next few years. Yeah, I'll tell you that uh, my big hope that we will talk in a year and a half that uh, we will be behind the by, by end of this project. Again, I'm not committing to year and a half, we'll see how it goes, but uh, uh, where we will have completely new type of uh, trading system that is not yet available uh, in either hedge funds or uh, even in the brains of the funds at the moment, because we will be able to get the new data that DAISY will be providing. We will be able to capture the high risk current return markets that are not currently treated by these companies. So uh, uh, it, it will be very exciting for us personally to deliver this type of results, deliver this type of modeling that uh, uh, much more cleaner explains the story than just, you know, like, Right now, it's it's more art. Trading is considered more of a art, not of a, of, of a science. And we're a scientist here, so we want to get the science of the trading and of the financial world using trading, Daisy uh, Daisy methodology. Incredible. So to, to to sum that up, we are participating in a level of AI super intelligence that currently does not exist in the financial technology world. And Endotech is going to bring into the global market uh, potentially something that doesn't exist right now. And this, is, this, is, this, this should be exciting for everyone because I know that uh, the vision is for the company ultimately to go public. We believe it's just gonna be a unicorn story in the FinTech world. And all of us as crowdfunding members get to be a part of that story for as little as a $100 contribution they get to be a part of this big story in the financial world. So Dr. Anna, thank you so much for letting us uh, be a part of this with you. And thank you for your time here today. And we're just, we're really excited. We're gonna do our job uh, to go out and uh, bring this message to the world. Thank you so much. Thank you, we're excited, really excited. Awesome. Thank you.